Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Epcot, Epcot. Everybody say, Epcot, Epcot. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Tell them what's brought us to Epcot this evening. Um, um, Postmodern Jukebox. Yeah, we went last year. We went, didn't we go to like multiple nights last year? I think we went, I think we went to multiple shows in one day okay. because they do a different show every time. That's what it was. And today's yeah. the last day, right? They only were here two days. And we're only going to make it to the last show, I think. Yeah. But well, we've been kind of busy and we live yeah. further away. Yeah. Oh. And so this was, what? What? Did you think there was a tent over there? I thought there was a tent over there, but it's just a mound of dirt over there. A mound of dirt? Because once the, once the white tent goes up, for wine and dine, it stays up through Princess, Princess. and I'm running in every single one. Wow. All right, we can't call it Diet Epcot right now, not only because food and wine's going on, but because it's it's called Reno Epcot. <laughs> Reno Epcot. Because here's the first set of walls that we've seen. All this renovation's going on, and we've yet to see all yeah. like the beginning stages of it yet. Right, and we heard there's so much even more yeah. like up by Club Cool. So welcome to Reno Wall Number One. Making a pit stop in the washroom. But look at this. Reno wall number two. Full-on like ripped up plants and trees. Woo! Epcot's gonna be looking fresh and good in a couple years. This right here? Yeah. Super important to the run Disney people. Oh yeah. That's how you currently, the past prior races and years, have gotten to the finish line for almost all the races. So you think it'll be different? I don't know if it'll be, I mean, that'll be a, they could make this work, but that's going to be a tight turn. But I also think maybe they're doing this construction. This is the first like torn upness that we've seen. Maybe this is a, maybe they're just making this like wider and fancier. Maybe that's so, why they're doing it first. So that right. The time. They only have a month. We're just over 30 days. About, well, that was for marathon weekend saying that you're going to like run through more of Epcot. But that too. Oh. Reno. Wall number three, it's a big one. Starbucks wall going down, the pool sign is down. My heart hurts. But just because of it, I'm gonna try that drink tonight that Mike Sullivan sent us. I'm still <laughs> gonna say it for Sean, but we heard some people in the comments tell us what it tastes like, and now I'm not patient enough for Sean. But I'll save a lot of it for Sean. <laughs> the wall continues all the way around. But then there's Reno wall four. Yeah. Four. Wow. Dude, I didn't have to go through, like people like my office have been telling me and friends and told us like how much was going, how many walls were going. We didn't even go near, I know there's the old rental wall for Mission Space, not Mission Space, Guardians Alan's of Energy. the Galaxy, yeah. And then let alone over on the other side of Future World. I feel so bad, like this is like, well I guess the big one is over there too, but like typically the big, um, the big flower arrangement like in the front has a ton of food and line stuff, but that's not even there. I miss this thing. What is that? The grape squash. That hasn't been there since like... Is it our college program? Yeah. It hasn't been back since then? cranberry. No. Oh, I wish it would bring that back. I love the cranberry. Grapes. No, it was grapes. It was grape smashing for no, wine. No, it was a cranberry bog. For wine? Because it was craisins. For wine? No. This is the Epcot I know and love. That's festival season for you. Coming up on holiday season. You can't even um, get a fast pass. Yeah. I can only get fast pass for like Big Bird or Nemo. So we're making our way over. We might see Katie tonight. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She said she might be coming out to see the postman in the box. Ooh, can you grab it? Sure. Righty, we're gonna hop in line. Looks like there's a big, a big crowd already, but not as bad as I thought. Yeah. It could. Like it's definitely much worse during candlelight procession. Oh, for sure. So this should be good. Can you see it? Run a wall. Wait, four or five? Five. Five on the way into Postmodern Jukebox. We got a way better spot than I expected us to.
postmodern jukebox. Welcome to the 20s 2.0! to welcome to the stage the man who speaks with his feet, Mr. Matt Shields! Another tune. Let's give it to him, yeah? Muppets is so underrated. It really is. Anyways, that was a fabulous show. It was a Stoom Pebble show. We do not have time to go to our store and fast pass that we got. But it was a thought to count it. Yeah, we'll go on it next time. Um, we're going to watch Illumination from America, we think. I'm nervous we're not going to hit all the country. I'm nervous that too, because with visiting co visitors coming in town, I we feel have like fast we're not. Passes tomorrow night for it. That's great. Like, yeah, that's great, but it's not a country. But it should still count, I feel. Because it's a great spot to watch it from. It's going to be the last time we're going to yeah. watch it from there. So, but we're going to go hang out. It was valley Funnel effort. cake. It smells so delicious. We're going to go hang out in the Japan Pavilion before we let this crowd disperse, and we'll come back on over to America for Illuminations, a little show Reflections called of Reflections of Earth. What on earth? Is, I've never seen this in my entire life, and I don't know if I ever want to see it again. What is that? It looks like Eve with the eyebrows. Oh my gosh. We need to, what do you think Eve would do if we brought this home? I've never seen, like, this literally looks like Eve. Except for the tail isn't fluffy, but the paws. We need to buy them out. We need to bring them all home. Oh, look, this one's in a basket. I would put Eve in a basket like this. Oh. I put Eve in the bathtub today and the shower. Yeah, you were getting reckless out oh, here. Cute. Oh, there's a. Is this a cat? It's its own Eve line. No, this one looks even more like Eve. Oh my goodness. She, that one has a lot. It doesn't have a lot of white. She doesn't have that. She's got some white. We're on the move. We realized. Sarah so realized. We have watched. Illuminations a lot from America with the Earhearts, and the Earhearts arrive tomorrow. So the probability that we will watch it again from America. There's so we like much do, space, there's a Joffrey's. We like to do an Earheart loop afterwards, and America is yeah. a great spot to do it. So we're going to go to China, 
We haven't watched it for a Another change. We just stopped in Germany. Reflections of birth. Next time we'll get a pretzel. Just isn't fair. It just doesn't seem real yet that it's actually leaving. So today was the last Tuesday yeah. that Illuminations will ever show right. in Epcot. Yeah. I can't handle this. All right, it's 10.30, we're home. Sarah's getting ready for bed. And I'm getting ready to go on a run. Yeah, I ran our dishwasher for the first time, so say a prayer see how it does. We were like totally not using our old one, so no, it, was, it could be nice to have again. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be back. Today's daily message, sometimes it takes more courage to ask for help than to act alone. Ken Petty. Alrighty, well I'm gonna get into bed. I cleaned down all the counters and I swept and I'm just like determined to like, just like continue to be like consistent cleaning and like tidying up and just like being really proud of our apartment especially since you know and everything's not in its place yet um if we can keep it up and we got some fall candles going if we can kind of keep it feeling super homey um then i don't know i think that it'll feel good once we get everything will be in the habit and um maintain our schedule that way just to keep it clean not that our other apartment wasn't clean but it just wasn't a priority all the time so I think I'm gonna hop into bed I don't know if I'll go to sleep right away um, I'm just determined to continue to get my eight hours and Peter should be home any minute it's good to be home I'm stubborn I was literally like almost mad going out to run cuz I didn't want to run I just wanted to go to bed but I gotta run so I took that anger out uh, the roads plus my buddy Steve killed it in his run and so all day I was like super proud of him, thinking about how he killed his tempo run today because he does all these different kinds of runs, like a tempo run, easy run, long run. I just fell on my schedule and I'm not as good about it as he is, but because of that and because of my fuel from frustration, I went out there and uh, killed my five miles. I'm supposed to get up early and do eight because the Earhart's are arriving tomorrow, so I should not run tomorrow night. But the fact that I just pushed it real hard, I don't know if I'll be able to get up early and run eight miles, so we'll see. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>